Hey, welcome. We are gonna start our first lecture on the general theory of relativity. We have completed our special theory of relativity all with our derivations of e equals to mc square and all the other stuff. If something is remaining, I'll make a next video. Please request. And let's start with the general theory of relativity. Look what I got for you right now in the first video. So before starting, yes, it is gravitational time dilation nothing but gravity stretching time very important part of the we can say general theory of relativity the gravitational time dilation because it explains us about how the time is stretched or how the time is actually affected by gravity so let us get down come on shall we uh, before starting with anything let me show you your three-dimensional world which simply consists of these things that is nothing but x-axis a y-axis and a z-axis of course every every normal person would think a three-dimensional world is sufficient but I know you're not normal and I know what's the fourth dimension fourth dimension is nothing but time you know what time looks like uh, let me show you a photo you'll see that photo I'll tell you what is the time plane or we can say the fourth dimension so you see this photo right this photo is nothing but the plane which you can see down the earth is nothing but the time plane and you can see down the earth the plane is quite stretched down this is nothing but the gravity which is stretching time the earth's gravity is actually quite weak so the stretching is very very negligible i hope they just showed it quite large stretching but it's actually very less so this was nothing but the gravity stretching time let's get down to our paper again so got it that was nothing but the actually you can say time plane now you all must be thinking what is the formula for the gravitational time dilation or we can say gravity stretching time now what is the formula C okay this is time okay T equals to T naught into under root of 1 minus 2gm upon rc square this is nothing but the formula now I hope you would like to know what does this alphabet stands for that is t t naught and all that stuff so see what is t is nothing but time at that planet that is we can say time near that planet that is whenever we stand in that planet then time for us is t and what is t naught t naught is nothing but rest time what is rest time and whether we we are standing in vacuum we are in vacuum we are not in motion not even in earth because just relative to earth we are moving but relative to someone in space uh, re sorry relative to earth we are actually in rest but someone uh, who was in space that can see us moving at the speed of earth so earth is not actually rest time so t naught is nothing but rest time of course you know what is g m equals to we can say mass of planet yes m is nothing but mass what is r you know what is r r equals to we can say something as radius radius of the planet and you know what is g come on g is 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 it is nothing but g we can say newton meter square per newton meter square yeah kg square So these were our initials, the formula T equals to T naught into under root of 1 minus 2gm upon rc square. You know what's the value of c, right? It's nothing but speed of light. 
Now, let's get down to a small problem where we will calculate the actual mass or we can say actual gravitational time dilation that is of sun. Okay, so let's get down, come on. So, for a sun, right? So, gravitational time dilation for sun. So, before calculating, let me simply tell you the values of sun. Now, let us say the mass is 1.9 into 10 power 33 grams. This is the mass of the sun, that is 1.9 into 10 power 33 grams. What is radius of sun? Is 6.957 into 10 power 5 meters yes it's 6 point is oh sorry 6957 into 10 power 5 I'm sorry 6957 into 10 power 5 meters this is nothing but the radius of the Sun so let us write down the formula again or first let us calculate the value of 1 minus 2 g m upon r times c square. So first let us calculate the value of 2 times g m upon r c square for sun. Alright I hope uh, you were understanding the lectures. So let's substitute the values that is 6.6 uh, let us take 6.6 .6, so 13.2 into 10 power minus 11 into 1.9 into 10 power 33 divided by the value of r the value of r is 6957 into 10 power 5 meters into c square that is 10.8 into 10 power 16 now what if we take down the value for it we get towards some value like look what do we get we get something like 25 into 10 power 22 divided by 75761 into 10 power 21 we get this value so we get the value of 250 divided by 75761. So if you want to just do minus 1, so 1 minus this whole stuff, we get 0 0.9968. Since this value yields 0 0.0142, so 1 minus this gives us 0 0.9968. So if we would now basically write each and everything in right here so we can say that yeah we can say t naught equals to t divided by 0 0.9968 or we can say t equals to t naught into 0 0.9968 This is what the equation we got, T equals to T naught into 0 0.9968 for sun. So, we got the value of sun now, let's just substitute an example. So, simply write down T equals to T naught into 0 0.9968, where T naught is the actual value we can say t naught is the rest time that is the time actual time we can say and t is the time that we spend on the sun so if we take simply 24 hours on sun i'm sorry for that uh if we just take 24 hours for us for fun uh, sorry 24 hours on sun i know that sounds weird so we can say t naught is the rest time so 
24 hours should be actually the rest time we can say 24 hours on space then we can say t equals to t naught that is t equals to 24 into 0 0.9968 What's its value? Come on. We get some value as 23.9. So we can say what would be our basic line here. 24 hours spent in space equals to 23.9 hours in sun. That is 24 hours on space. equals to 23.9 hours on sun so that's what we ended with the gravity stretching time i hope i hope you like the video and yeah do like and subscribe see you soon